All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about how you calculate the relative frequency, relative dominance, and important value of your forest lab that we would have done had COVID not kept us from collecting the data in person. So the data that I have in front of me here is just the same data for a forest lab that was conducted in a previous semester. And you can see here that we have five plots associated with uh, five different colors. So plot one in blue, plot two in red, plot three in green, plot four in gray, and plot five in black. And so in order to calculate the relative frequency, we already have the data that we need. We just need to know what species were observed and how many of those observations were there. However, in order to calculate the relative dominance, we need to know each uh, tree species basal area. The way we calculate basal area is uh, we assume that the trees are circular and we use the area of a circle to calculate the amount of space that that tree took up. Um, and the way that you do that, the area of a circle is pi r squared. r is the radius and since we have the dbh, which is the diameter at rest height, we just need to divide that number by two in order to have the radius. So the way that you calculate this in Excel is you hit equal sign. Now you can either type 3.14 or uh, Excel has a way to do this where you just do pi open bracket close bracket times two open brackets. We select the dbh we divide it by two to get the radius, close bracket, and then we need to square the radius. So you do this little caret two, and then you close the bracket, and then you hit enter, and you have the basal area for this black gum tree. Now, the cool, one of the cool things about Excel is if you go to the lower right corner and you drag, you click and drag this down, it'll automatically populate the basal area for each of the observations. Uh, take a minute to go ahead and do this for the rest of your, of your plots, and then um, we'll go and start calculating relative frequency and relative dominance.